Hey guys, welcome to this isosceles triangle video. So we're going to solve for x in this isosceles triangle. The whole idea of an isosceles triangle is that these base angles are equal and the sides opposite of those base angles are going to be equal. And since these two sides are equal, we can set their expressions equal to each other. So we can say 3x plus 5 equals 5x plus 1. It says solve for x, so our goal is to get x by itself. When we're done, it should look something like x equals something, a number. But right now, we have an x on both sides of the equation. We can't have that. So we're going to move one to the other side. So I like to find the smaller of the two, and the 3x is smaller than 5x. So I'm going to subtract that from both sides. The reason I do the smaller one is because when I do 5x minus 3x, I get positive 2x and I prefer positive numbers over negative numbers. And then this goes away, so we're left with just five on the left side, and we have two x plus one. Now we only have one side that contains an x. Our goal now is to get that x by itself. So first I'm gonna subtract the one. Five minus one is four, and this all cancels. So we just have two x on the right side. And now this means two times x, so the way I'm gonna undo that is divide both sides by two and we get x equals two is the answer, and we can check it. So we got this one right. So that's how these work when you're trying to solve for x and you're dealing with isosceles triangles. You usually will just set the two sides equal to each other. So here's another variation. Once again, it's an isosceles triangle, and so we know that the base angles are equal and the sides are equal. Well, here they're telling us the degrees of the angles, so we can just set these degrees equal to each other. We can say x minus 10 equals 50. Now this parentheses doesn't mean anything really because it's already alone on that side, so we can just get rid of it. Once again, this says solve for x, so our whole goal is to get x by itself. Right now there's a minus 10. The way we undo a minus 10 is adding 10, which leaves us x on the left side, and 50 plus 10 is 60. So the answer to this one should be x equals 60, and we can check it, and it says the answer is x equals 60. If you want to try more of these, I have this page on andymath.com. I'll include a link down below in the description. There's also related pages for more triangle-related concepts, and these all have practice problems and answers as well. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel, and comment below if you have any other math questions. I'll try to answer them for you. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. 